Thanksgiving and the massacre of the Native Americans, how they would gather and hold a feast in honor of their heads being on the table, literally having Indians, Native Americans, indigenous people's heads on the table and they're feasting about it. And this is what you practice when you celebrate Thanksgiving people. So I want you to understand what you're practicing when you celebrate Christmas. Okay, let's keep going. What is Saturnalia? Saturnalia, the most popular holiday on the ancient Roman calendar. Let me ask you something. To all my indigenous melanated individuals, what do you have in common with ancient Roman celebrations? Where is your lineage and where does your family derive from an ancient Roman history? Other than the fact that you have been force fed to practice, practice these holidays. Okay, ancient Roman calendar derived from older farming related rituals. Notice the word rituals of midwinter and the winter solstice, which is today, December 21st. I'm pointing that out again. This is why I chose to do this video today, especially the practice of offerings, gifts or sacrifices to the gods during the winter sowing season. So I'm not making it up. Sacrifices. I want you to make note of a lot of these uh, quote unquote Hollywood celebrities. I don't believe in celebrities because you're celebrating an entity. These infamous people that we see on the TV screen, okay, are being sacrificed around the winter solstice. Again, shout out to Takeoff, uh, Kirshnik Kari Ball. Again, there's another one, Stephen Twitch Boss, okay, which is Ellen DeGeneres' DJ, and he's known for dancing. And there are some others, okay, that have come to their untimely earthly demise in this realm, okay, that have been sacrificed. Whether you know it or not, there are a lot of celebrities that practice these things, practices um, of sacrificial um, characters. So a lot of these people that have stepped away from the camera have come to their untimely demise OK, they were sacrificed, whether people want to believe it or not. I'm showing you right here in the article. OK, so offering gifts. So this is why they have the gift giving. You know, you're putting gifts under the tree. You're giving gifts to one another. One thing that we are not doing, we are not sacrificing people, but best believe people that um, they want to classify as the elite. I don't consider them to be elite, but the people that work in Hollywood they do practice this sacrificing to the gods, okay? During the winter sowing season. And the God that we're referencing is the God of Saturn, okay? It is not the God that you all are referencing that you think sits in the sky and is watching over you on earth, all right? This is the God of Saturn when you're celebrating Christmas, y'all. So what do we have in common with celebrating a God of Saturn and sacrificing people? But yet and still, you're going to see many people going out here celebrating in honor of Christmas because they're going to tell you, oh, well, the reason I'm doing it is just so I can celebrate my family members. I don't believe in it. But you're still practicing a ritual. OK, and it did not derive from you. It derived from this practice right here. So you just got to understand what you feed your energy to. You are giving it life. The pagan celebration of Saturn, the Roman god of agriculture and time, began as a single day. But by the late Republic of 1331 to 1333 to 1331 BC, it had expanded to a week long festival beginning December 17th on the Julian calendar, which the Romans used at that time. The winter solstice fell on December 25th. OK, so during that time, the winter solstice fell on December 25th. It had nothing, nothing and nowhere do you see that this had to do with the birth of a Jesus, the birth of a Christ. You just read it here. And these words that I am sharing with you in this article that the Romans used at that time, a calendar, which was a Julian calendar and the winter solstice fell on December 21st. I just told you that Hoyta East Mitvok. Okay. Today is Wednesday, December 21st. So in four days, it will be December 25th. That's not too far off from the winter solstice. The winter solstice starts on December 21st, according to the calendar. All right. How the Romans celebrated Saturnalia. During Saturnalia work and business, 
uh, business came to a halt. So everybody stopped working and they stopped their business practices. Schools and courts of law closed and the normal social patterns were suspended, okay? People decorated their homes and wreaths uh, with wreaths and other greenery and shed their traditional togas in favor of colorful clothing known as synthesis, all right? So when you see wreaths strung on the doors and when you see greenery all over the place, this is a Roman pagan practice. This did not come from our indigenous people, you all. All right, get with it. Even enslaved people did not have to work during Saturnalia, but were allowed to participate in the festivities. In some cases, they sat at the head of the table while their masters served them. I want you to pay close attention to that. So all of you out here who think that you're just holly and jolly, you want to sit your children on a S-A-N-T-A, S-A-T-A-N, Satan wearing all red, the devil's color, okay? Um, you're sitting them in the lap of a man that you don't know. OK, now, most of the time you would say you would never sit your child in the lap of a man that you don't know. But because you want to celebrate Saturnalia, then it's OK for your child to sit in a strange man's lap. Let's keep going and ask him for toys and goodies. And he's telling your child, have you been naughty or nice? Either you'll get cold or you'll get a whole bunch of toys and goodies. That sounds pedophilic to me because. How do people learn in children with candies, with goodies, with toys, you all, all the things that children like. And we're going to talk about Nicolaus, St. Nicolaus, OK, because if you do not know the nature of that, I think you need to delve deeper into it. That is very demonic. Uh, people did sacrifice children to these entities. OK, so while you're giving your children over to the lap of a stranger, you might want to think about this for a second. All right, let's keep going. Instead of working, Romans spent Saturnalia gambling, singing, playing music, feasting. What do you do when you get together with your with your family? Some of the same stuff. You're dancing, you're jingling, you're mixing, you're mingling. You're jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. You're doing all this stuff, right? You're getting into it with the electric slide. You're breaking out the dominoes. You're playing spades. All my melanated people, you know what I'm talking about. You know how we do. We're feasting, right? You got the ham, the turkey is glazed up on the table, full of turkey and stuffing and dressing and gravy, you know, smothered all up in the gravy, right? All the things that give you high cholesterol and high blood pressure, but it's okay because you're melanated. This is how black people eat, right? So when it's time to have high blood pressure, heart attacks, strokes, what are you blaming it on? Oh, well, you know, that's just how we eat. Okay. Feasting, socializing, and giving each other gifts. Wax taper candles called seray were common gifts during Saturnalia to signify light returning after the solstice. So if you see a bunch of candles being lit, this is why. On the last day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. Okay. On the last day of Saturnalia, celebrations known as the Sigillaria, many Romans gave their friends and loved ones small terracotta figurines known as Siga signalaria, which may have referred back to older celebrations involving human sacrifice. Need I say this again for all of the people that did not hear it in the back? Let me make my screen bigger. Because I think y'all think I'm joking. I don't think y'all heard what I just said. On the last day of Saturnalia, celebrations known as Sigillaria, many Romans gave their friends and loved ones small terracotta figurines. Terracotta figurines known as Signalaria, which may have referred back to older celebrations involving human sacrifice. Now, I'm going to point this out again. What just happened to take off entering into the winter solstice, okay? What just happened to DJ Twitch, a.k.a. Stephen Boss, entering into the winter celebration season? All right. And what is today? Today is December 21st. Heute ist Mittwoch. It is the solstice of winter, you all. All right. So I don't have to make this up because they are telling you right now 
why we're celebrating Christmas, which is, which is a celebrating of the death of a Christ. OK, it is not the birth of anything. I don't know where y'all are getting this from. You're set. You're basically celebrating a satanic demonic practice. Saturnalia was.